Hello friends, we are doing CNS examination of the patient. First of all, I am starting with the motor system examination and in this first of all, I will check the bulk of the muscle. Why we check the bulk of the muscle? We will see if there is any muscle wasting. We will see the atrophy of the muscle or the hypertrophy of the muscle. So how we have to do this? We have to use injury tape for it and uh, this patient has came with the problem of muscle weakness and numbness of the foot. Here it is 8 and here it is also 8 so it is fine in the arm also i will check near the biceps it is 9 over here and here it is again it is 9 means it is okay now i will check of thigh here it is 13 and here it is again 13 that means it's also right and again i will check it in the leg also here it is 10 and here it is also 10 that means ki bulk of the muscle is right there is nothing like muscle wasting over here but what we are checking over here is if there is atrophy of the muscle there are three conditions one is your cachexia other is your prolonged hypertonia and the third one is your inflammation and if there is hypertrophy of the muscle there can be conditions such as the patient is a gym person or the other is your muscular dystrophy which may be present in the patient. So next we are going to check the tone of the patient. Why we are checking the tone of the patient? We are going to examine if there is any hypotonia or hypertonia and how we have to check it. So here it is 10 and here it is 10. Kind of normal. Here it is normal, and here it is also normal. Leela, chhod do please. Leela, abhi bhi tight hai. Leela. So in right side of the body. Uh, in both upper limb and lower limb I can see that there is increased tone there is hypertonia and why we see the tone of the body what we are ruling out basically in hypotonia we are seeing some disease such as your poliomyelitis or syphilis and in hypertonia we see rigidity and sparsity and rigidity there are various type of rigidity cog wheel lead pipe and furthermore so I can appreciate uh, hypertonia in right upper limb and right lower limb and i also want to specify here that in this patient uh, he has came with the complaint that of he, when he started walking at 4 a.m in the early morning he was falling down on the right side as if his right side of the body is not working so yeah this is a, some specific finding so now we are going to check the strength of the muscle of the patient. So there are, you know that there is five rates, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0 is no movement at all. 1 is flickering movement like, like this, flickering. 2 is movement against gravity. 3 is movement against gravity with simple resistance. 4th is movement against gravity with moderate resistance. And 5th is movement against gravity with strong resistance. Okay, so let's do this examination of the patient. Baba, I am हाथ को मतलब ऐसे नीचे प्रेस कर रही हूं ठीक है आपको ये ऊपर लेके जाना है मैं क्या कह रही हूं पेशेंट को बेसिकली मैं पेशेंट को कह मैं उनके हाथ पे ऐसे नीचे की तरफ रेजिस्टेंस दे रही हूं एंड आई एम टेलिंग आस्किंग द पेशेंट कि ही हैव टू लिफ्ट हिज हैंड अप सो दैट आई कैन सी दैट बाइसेप्स आर वर्किंग और नॉट सो लेट्स सी जस्ट लिफ्ट योर हैंड अप सो ही इज एबल टू लिफ्ट विद स्ट्रांग रेजिस्टेंस मींस हिज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द मसल इज 5 बाय 5 इन राइट अपर लिम अगेन वी आर चेकिंग इन द लेफ्ट अपर लिम ऐसे हाथ करो या just lift your hand upwards so he is able to do that means 5 by 5 on this side also now i will also check the extensor group of muscles strength so uh, where i am putting the hands on this side and when i will ask the patient to extend his hand just baba apna hand aise reach ki taraf karo and see i am putting strong resistance and he is able to do that that means extensor group of muscles power of upper limb is 5 by 5 again on this hand and he is able to do that that means 5 by 5 now on Lower limbs. Baba, pair upper karo. He is able to do that with moderate resistance. Now, let me try it with strong resistance. Lift your hand. Very good. Again on this. Very good. He is able to do that. That means strength of the muscle in both upper limb and lower limb is 5 by 5 in this patient. 
so now i am going to test coordination of the movement in the patient i will ask the coordination of movement on upper limb as well as in lower limb there are different tests in upper limb as well as lower limb first of all we are starting with the upper limb i will ask the patient to uh, touch the finger like this from nose finger test okay okay baba so the तो ही इज डूइंग इट करेक्टली आंख बंद करके कर सकते हो एक बारी तो ये हमें दोनों तरफ कराना पड़ता है खोल के भी और बंद करके भी एंड ही इज एबल टू डू ठीक है सेकेंड टेस्ट में वी लास्ट द पेशेंट टू ड्रॉ द सर्कल फ्रॉम बोथ द हैंड्स इन बोथ कंडीशन इन ओपन आइज एज वेल एज क्लोज आइज बाबा आंख खोल के ऐसे हवा में सर्कल बनाओ गोला बनाओ दूसरे हाथ से भी बनाओ very nice so third test i am going to ask him to do supination and pronation movement like this or radial or ulnar movement like this to check if there is any this dia this dia dogokinesis or not so what will happen if there if he is able to like this from both the hands or like this from both the hands that means it is okay it is normal but if he do like this and he stops in between doing that that means there is some cerebral ataxia which is present in the patient which is something i am searching in this patient due to which i am asking uh, for this test theek hai baba ko kaise karna hai karo dusre haath se bhi karo he stopped in doing in this hand and he was doing properly in this hand i didn't given any instruction to stop we will check once more karo karo dusra hand se karo speed nahi ho pata See what he did. He do it like this, and he did two times like this and this. That means cerebral ataxia is present in this patient when he was doing it from the right hand. I also want to tell you that the patient has come with the chief complaints of falling on the right side of the body, and the findings we have got right now is also on the right side. Now we will see the coordination of the movements in the lower limbs. को सीधा सीधा चलते आना है. Straight line. ये जो line दिख रही है ना इसके ऊपर ऊपर चलते हुए आओ. सी ही इज़ नॉट एबल टू मूव दैट ओके ओके जस्ट स्टैंड स्टिल अब आपको क्या करना है आपको ये पैर ऐसे करना है और अपना ये पैर पीछे लगाना है फिर ये ऐसे करना है फिर ये पीछे लगाना है चलो करके दिखाओ नहीं मैं हाथ पकड़ती हूँ ना ये लो करो सी ही इज़ नॉट एबल टू मेक द कॉर्डिनेशन इवन माई हैंड इज ऑल्सो ओके ओके ठीक है साढ़े वाले now i am going to test the rombach sign in the patient i will ask the patient to stand straight uh, join both the foot and look straight and close the eyes and if, i will ask the patient to walk straight if the patient swings while walking in the closed eyes that means there is a sensory ataxia and he if he swings in open eyes that means there is cerebral ataxia so let's see in the patient aapko seedha khada hona dono pair jod lo apne ha aankhein band kar lo और चलने की कोशिश करो ओ तो मीन्स ही वॉज स्विंगिंग ऑन हिज राइट साइड दैट मीन्स ऑन क्लोजिंग आई दिस सीरी अटैक्स दिया अब हम आंखें खोल के भी एक बारी कर लेते हैं बाबा आंखें खोल के चलो ठीक है सीधा सीधा चलना लेकिन चलो 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 I think he's able to walk in open eyes. That means there is no cerebral ataxia in rhombus sign. I have find that there is sensory ataxia only. Thank you, Baba. Now I am asking the patient to perform the heel knee test, and I will say that you have to touch your heel from here to here and down. Do it. Yes. 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 वेरी नाइस nice. ये वाले पैर से भी करके दिखाओ ना ऊपर से नीचे नहीं नीचे से ऊपर हाँ वेरी नाइस सो ही इज एबल टू परफॉर्म हील नी टेस्ट सो आई होप यू ऑल्सो एंजॉयड वी हैव सीन द क्लासिकल फाइंडिंग्स इन द पेशेंट इन ऑफ रॉम्पक साइन दैट इज ऑफ सेंसिटेट एक्जिया ऑल्सो पेशेंट वॉज नॉट एबल टू मूव इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन देर वॉज डिस डायोकोकाइनिस प्रेजेंट इन द पेशेंट
now we are going to test the reflexes of the patient i am starting with the plantar reflex <clears throat> so your thumb is going in extension and your fingers are going in flexion again in this just present it is also flexion okay now i am checking knee jerk chhod de dila chhod de mere paas knee jerk is absent in this also it is i asked the patient to semi flex his elbow and with the help of this i am going to put on the olecranon process and i can see the triceps reflex again you can see like this see similarly on the other side now i'll see the biceps reflex just hold this for a moment and biceps are how i have to check i have to put my finger over here and just see this is also visible and now i will check the supinator one my patient is very cooperative to me <laughs> i'm lucky thank you so much <laughs> his smile is also beautiful and supinator is also present now <clears throat> in reflexes i have seen that plantar reflex was present knee jerk was absent your triceps biceps supinator was present thank you thank for cooperating you. with me thank Hare you aapki wajah se mera examination ho gaya hari krishna hari krishna